Morning everybody, I'm Lloyd on the Ranger here for the National Trust at Dunwich Heath. Draw me for the next couple of minutes and I'll take you around the sights and sounds of Dunwich Heath. So you draw me now out in the middle of the heath. I'm currently carrying out a bird survey. So I'm listening out to try and suss out the populations of the key heathen species, such as the stone trout, woodlark, Dartford warbler, and later on I'll suss out the night jars as well. So down on the beach here now, um, we've got a mile of beach, half of which is backed by these cliffs. Um, they're soft sandy cliffs and they are still actively eroding, um, which makes great homes and areas for the sand martins that hopefully you can see flying around in, in and out of their holes. Um, they come here every spring from Africa um, to set up base here in Tabriz. Um, what we've got here is a solitary wasp, which you can see quite a nice sized one. She's just brought a caterpillar in to her nest, and so she's actually just covering back up now. Um, inside there will be a tunnel with some chambers that she'll put a caterpillar or two in each chamber and then lay an egg there, um, and then cover it all back up to try and stop the parasitic wasps or other predators trying to get in there, um, try, which will try and snaffle her, her caterpillars or her eggs or the larvae that are inside. So a complete change in habitat. You should hopefully be able to see here a dragonfly. Now this is a four spotted chaser and uh, dragonflies are incredible things, have a real amazing life. You know when they're like this in adult form they live for a couple of weeks to a couple of months depending on the species um, but actually most of their life is spent in the water um, where they live well up to four years, some of the larger species, as a nymph. So a lovely view of a Four spotted chaser there. Thanks for joining me and hopefully look forward to welcoming you here soon.